Okay, so one of my favorite things about the trip that we've done to Israel is just actually getting to see where the events of the Bible took place. I didn't think I'd actually like um, the Old Testament places as much as I did. It was really cool to go to where Jesus walked and stuff, but I didn't think that like walking in Jericho would be that cool, but it actually was. To act, and I, I guess there's a lot of doubt surrounding Jericho and like the walls and stuff, but we literally got to walk up the walls of the fallen walls of Jericho and that was a pretty cool experience. That was getting to see, yeah, it totally changes the way I, I'm going to read the Bible because um, actually seeing the land of Israel, it's unlike anything I've ever seen in my entire life. And so when they talk about certain places, you're like, oh yeah, I know where that is, instead of just, you know, having it all in your imagination. The uh, topography of Israel is unlike any place I've ever been. And so, you know, when they talk about, you know, David looked out from his, his you know, palace over these hills, it's kind of hard to picture that being from Southern California where we don't have hills like that. Whereas in Jerusalem, it's so, there's so many hills. It's like, oh wow, that's actually feasible. Or how many caves there are. It seems almost in every testament in the Old Testament, oh, it seems almost every story in the Old Testament, so-and-so went hiding in a cave. And you're like, my gosh, how many caves do they have in Israel, you know? But um, if you come here, you realize there's a cave every like five feet in some of these places. So it's not actually that hard to believe. So.